Okay, moving on. Solving systems with addition and multiplication. So this involves like one extra step as opposed to the other two examples that we did. In the first two examples that we did, when you put the X's and the Y's and we line them under each other, one of them was automatically positive, one was automatically negative, and the coefficients were ones. So when you added them, they automatically just boom, went away. In this exercise, they're not going to be that way. Yes, they're lined up under each other and we can do all that. But the problem is, is you can't add them together and they automatically go away. So what we have to do is we have to create almost like an illusion that they're the same, okay? And the way we do that is using least common multiple. You're for, you are more familiar with least common denominator, but least common multiple is the same concept. It's just, it deals with numbers instead of denominators as fractions, okay? But the concept is the same. I'm still looking for a number that both will divide into. So, for instance, when I give you the number four and the number 12, if I ask you for the least common multiple, you would tell me 12. Don't tell me four. Does four divide into 12? Absolutely it does. But does 12 divide into four? No, it doesn't. Not an even number of times because 12 is bigger than four. And that would require you having a decimal and that's not what we want. So 12 is the smallest number that both 4 and 12 divide into. So that's his least common multiple. So what we're fixing to do in this slide and a couple of more, we're going to work with least common multiple slash denominators, if you want to keep it that way so you understand it, so that we can create opposites of each other and solve by addition method, okay? So come with me to the board so I can show you this method. 